one of the coolest new music for this week. My name is Meg. Today you can see my face. We are here at the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards and I'll be giving you an update on what I thought about the awards, which ones I thought were ensembles or if everything went well. I know most of you watch from home but then I was there at the event and I think this award show was one of the most shocking ones and at the same time too I felt like much more deserving artists won awards not to say previous years those who deserved didn't get but then it felt good this year to see people who had not really won awards win awards you know there were some people there who probably thought that hmm, because i'm in this category with this person so i don't think i'm going to get anything but then the lord works in mysterious ways i mean look at raskuku poem winning the reggae dancehall artist of the year i mean if there were some other people there you know that he probably wouldn't have gotten it but then look at him flourishing also i really hope that jj will be winning the dance hall song of the year is going to make him give us more reggae and dance hall songs because everybody, anyone who knows me knows that I think Jay Derby shouldn't be making Afrobeat songs. He, it is too mediocre for him. He really needs to focus on the reggae and the dance hall. And I hope this award kicks him in the nuts and makes him realize that. Basak Nation, what's up? What's going on? How are you guys feeling? Obviously, more bleedy. <laughs> I honestly thought Sarkozy was going to sweep awards, but then he had two awards. He had the um, International Collaboration of the Year with Rude Boy, and then he got the Best Collaboration of the Year. Be like this VGM is the year, he was only destined to get awards for his features. It probably just means that Sarkozy always has badass features. But the Best Collaboration Award, the, he has to give the award, he has to dash it to Bright because we all know that in Ophetio, it was Bright that made the song, you know, catchy. Bright was the one who added that extra juice. As for the overall artist of the year, nobody should come for Kwame Eugene. We are sick and tired of hearing you guys say that the guy is not good enough because he is good. The guy had a solid album and you'd be shocked that on that particular album, everybody knows all of the songs on it. You see, stop looking at your circle. Stop looking at your circle and look at Ghana as a whole. The VGM is it's not just a crowd. It is not just a crowd. I think Kwame Eugene is one of the few artists who actually checks to see where most of his um, fans are and then he, he delivers to them from there. Because look, he had his concert in Kumasi when he could have had it in Accra. He had it there. Do you know why he did that? Like the guy has covered all his bases. He has covered everything. And he, de he deserves this award. He's such a hardworking guy. He really deserves this award. As for the best rapper of the year, I know people are going to come for me, but I really don't see why um, Kusiata got the award. I mean, you guys really need to start voting for Strongman and T-Flow. You know, you guys really... And EL, EL, you guys need to start voting more for these people, Charlie. Shout out to Dope Nation, Kofi Mole. You see, I, I really like the fact that the new guys are winning awards. Family, you know, all these people are getting awards and it's going to motivate them to put in more work and not to disappear. I think the VGMAs in general did well in recognizing people. I'm glad Gasmela was given a Green Ambassador Award for his, his work. I was, I was also surprised to see Amrado do a VGMA version of the Yetin Sim. It, it, it means that they, they are actually seeing what the artists are doing and, and that's good. That's good. But now let's talk about the performances. I just want to say that nobody in this in this Ghana can touch Eno Baroni, Kwame Eugene, Kelvin Boy, Kwame Eugene again. Episode, my God, episode. These guys killed their performances. Let, let, I, I don't even want to talk about the legends, Akosie Japan, Natsbru, and Rexuma. When the three of them got on stage, it was pure flames. The auditorium, almost everyone was up because hey, the energy, the energy was crazy. But while some people were putting effort into their craft, some people too, I mean, what did Kwesi Atakamen do? He disrupted the whole auditorium 
with his room, 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 room. Everyone was standing. Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? He came on stage and he just came to give us that performance. Come on, Kusiata. And I think they did Aquabua Dirty. I mean, I think his performance would have been really cool because then he brought a whole piano on stage and he was going to play. But I don't know what was going on, but he seemed distracted at some point and it, it was it was really bothering me because then I wasn't feeling his performance properly. Ifia, Ifia should have been given more time. It was like she just came to appear for two seconds and she left. And it hurts me so much because we all know that Ifia is queen when it comes to performances. And what happened to some of the performances? We're expecting so much more from a lot of the huge acts, but then they didn't perform. I'm thinking maybe it was because of time, but I don't know. Lord Paper, Lord Paper was supposed to perform. We need to know why they were not allowed to perform. My thoughts on the whole VGMA experience, it was, it was fine, it was cool. I mean, on Friday, the social distancing was some styles. It's like I wasn't seeing top on the red carpet, but then it makes sense because a lot was happening at the same time. But on Saturday, once we got into the auditorium, security kept moving around in between the show to make sure that everyone had their mask on. And I, I say, myself, my idea. By the end of it all, I'm glad that a lot of new acts were able to win awards. I like the fact that the awards was not hijacked by some specific people who have been winning the awards so many times over the years. I think we should just embrace the fact that new people won new awards this year. And for those who voted, jobless. And to all the artists who won, congratulations. To those who didn't win, don't worry, next year, that one too is there. So put in the work now. Once again, my name is Meg. This was the Cool Peeps New Music Show VGMA edition. I know this had nothing to do with new music, but then again, I can do whatever I want. Abby is my show. Yeah, if you didn't vote, I'm sure you are crying, but at the end of the day, they asked you that you should make sure that you vote, but then you didn't. So then if you didn't, this is the Vagina edition. Peace. Don't forget to like, share, comment. My name is Meg. I'm out.